I've been gigging with the FM9 for a little over a year now, and I think I've finally found a great budget case. Now, the FM9 is quite huge, and it's narrow, so finding a great case at a great price was actually quite difficult. The first thing that I tried was my Helix bag, and the Helix bag was a little bit too big, and it allowed it to shift back and forth. Then I tried the SKB foot controller soft case that I found online. It ended up being the same issue where the case was a little bit too large and the FM9 was allowed to slide around, which actually started causing some micro scratches on my screen. The other downside to this case is if you load any pedals in the zipper part and you happen to take out your FM9 first, the entire thing will topple over. Now I know the solution to that is just don't take the FM9 out first, but I like to carry all my pedals even if I'm not using them for the gig. What I really missed was when I was gigging with the Quad Cortex and I used an Apache 4800 that I found at Harbor Freight. This thing's fantastic. It had three layers. I could put my Quad Cortex on the top, it had a divider, and then I could put all the pedals that I was using at a gig in the bottom. Unfortunately, they don't make a case big enough to house the FM9. I then came across a post talking about the Newark 22-24155. I know the name rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? But the price was right and I figured I would take a risk and order it. Here's how it came in. There's absolutely no padding and it was shrink wrapped and the box is pretty beat up. Thankfully, nothing was damaged. You can see that it's very similar to the Apache case in the fact that it has a thick layer of foam on the top, a thin dividing layer for the middle, and then another thick layer on the bottom. If you've never worked with pluckable foam before, it can be kind of intimidating. It's one of those things that once you pluck it, you can't really put it back. Well, you can kind of glue it, but it just will never be the same. So my suggestion is to take out the foam and lay it down on the surface and then place whatever object you're trying to cut out on top and use that as a template. Then slide your fingers in and slowly break through a perimeter, but don't do it too hard because you'll pull more than you need to. The only issue I had with this case was my EV2 pedal that I used with my FM9. It's a little bit too tall for that piece of foam and my solution to that was I would just place it in the front corner where the unit actually dips down a little bit so it's not as tall. Now in hindsight, I wish I would have put it in the middle of the case to balance it out more, but what can you do? With the space on the bottom, I was able to fit my drop pedal and my wireless unit and the receiver and all the cables that I need for any gig. Now the lid does close a bit tight, but it doesn't press hard enough for it to compress any of the buttons and I heard no clicks like I did when I used the SKB case. As you can see, this case works great. Now, it is a monster and the plastic isn't quite as thick as the Apache 4800, but I'm not gonna be throwing it around crazily off any stages and I don't have to worry about putting it in the back of a trailer on the back of my car and stacking other gear on top of it. And I'm so happy that I can now carry all my pedals and everything in one place.